Hello and welcome to this screen capture video on how to locate a specific dissertation or thesis. I'm Paula Cardozo and I'm the Librarian for Education, Sociology and Women and Gender Studies here at the University of Lethbridge Library. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our guide section on the library homepage. And down the third column you'll see that we have a guide specifically for theses and dissertations. There are a number of useful tips to help you find them, along with links to different resources that contain theses and dissertations. A quick note about Theses Canada, this uh, resource has not been updated as much over the last uh, three to five years. This is not one I typically go into. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go into Dissertations and Theses AI. This is one that indexes millions of dissertations from post-secondary institutions around the world. So I'll click here. If you were off campus, you would be asked to uh, sign in right now, and it's just the same sign-in you use for Moodle and all the other stuff here at UofL. So I'd like to thank Richard Butt for giving me permission to use his thesis, his PhD thesis, as our example. Um, so what I've done is I have entered in the title of his thesis. It's Development of a Conceptual System for the Open Classroom, and it is in closed quotations. So I'm just going to hit Enter to start my search. And here it is. So I'm going to click on it right here. The first thing I notice that is that it's only 24 pages long. That's because ANI usually just gives us a preview of the thesis or dissertation in question. If I want the entire thing, I'm probably going to have to go find it somewhere else. So I'll just go back. Notice here we do have a Find Full Text feature, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. If all else fails, we can submit an interlibrary loan request for a print copy. Uh, that will take some time. Or we can even try this Google Scholar. Um, in this case, it actually did work, but we're going to pretend that it didn't, and we're going to hunt it down ourselves in another place. So the next thing I'm going to look for when I'm trying to find a specific thesis or dissertation is the university at which the scholar completed it. In this case, University of Ottawa. So um, one of the things with theses and dissertations is that many institutions collect that work, and we do that in what's called an institutional repository. So here we are at the University of Ottawa's library homepage. Now, we could go and search their discovery layer, but that's searching a lot of different things. It's actually faster for us to find their repository and do a targeted search. So I'm not seeing anything that says institutional repository right here, because sometimes um, places have different names for them. I'm just going to go to find here, and sometimes they'll be in digital collections, but if you see something that refers to research, repository, or mentions the institution's name, sometimes that's going to be it. So I'm going to click on this UVO research, and I've indeed uh, found their institutional repository. So this is a place where they're collecting um, the scholarly output of their faculty, researchers, and graduate students, and making it openly accessible to the public. So let's go right into UVO Research. Now we're going to do uh, a search for Richard's thesis. I'm just going to go and copy and paste that over. And there are quite a few different ones there, so I'm going to go ahead and close that in double quotes again to tell the computer. Or I could go down to title. That probably would have been easier, frankly. But here it is. So if I go ahead and click on this one, there's Richard. And they do have URLs, but I can see that we have a PDF right here, so I'm going to click on that. If you've ever been in a class with me, you've probably heard me beg that you save things when you find it, so make sure that when you do find these PDFs that you save them if you're going to be using them again. And this one is over 200 pages, so I'm pretty confident that it is Richard's entire PhD thesis, so here it is. 
On other library homepages, you might see the institutional repository referred to in a slightly different way. I'm just going to quickly go to uh, Mount Royal's library webpage, and if we just hover over search and find, you can see here a link, and it just says institutional repository. Whereas at Ryerson, I'm not seeing anything like that, but if I just scroll down, I can actually see something that refers to a digital repository with something that's unlocked. So sometimes that is a dead giveaway, and if we just click on that, we can get into the repository. If you're wondering where University of Lethbridge's repository is, let's just go back to the home page, and over on the quick links on the left-hand side, you'll see a link to Opus, which is our research repository. So go ahead and take a look and see what's in there. And of course, if you can't find an electronic copy, and sometimes the older theses and dissertations haven't been digitized yet, in which case if you needed it, you would have to put in an interlibrary loan. If you were in um, ProQuest theses and dissertations, you can sometimes do it from there, but let's just say you had to do it an interlibrary loan right from scratch, no problem. If you go under services, you can request an interlibrary loan, then you fill out the information yourself to help the staff on both sides of the interlibrary loan exchange. Just make sure you're giving them enough bibliographic information about the thesis or dissertation so that they can hunt it down effectively and try to get it to you. If you have any questions about this or anything else, um, hopefully you know where to find me. If you go under Guides and click on Education, we'll just go to the Research and Education Guide. Here is my um, direct contact information. Email is the best way to find me. If I'm online, this is a direct chat to me. But also keep in mind that you have the option of getting help from the main Ask Us as well if you weren't able to find me. Um, and if you're ever wondering when the Ask Us is open, if you click on today's hours, it's the summer, so our info desk hours are a little shorter at this time of the year, but during the main term from September to April, they're much longer. Just keep in mind that you have lots of different options to get help from us if you need it. So happy researching. Thanks for watching.